Hey, Doris. Your reading is first. I'm going to check into the energy this month. I was so grateful to settle in uh, into Taurus season this month. Happy birthday to those of you out there that are celebrating that this month and into next month. This season, I guess I should say. Um, all of you Taurus Risings for also doing and moving through and also accomplishing and setting bars and standards and shifting and having softness for yourself and patience for yourself out there in this new identity in with all of this in your 12th house. And those that goes for the growth with the Taurus Suns as well too. I hope that if you are benefiting from this time where Jupiter and Uranus are having their their meetup um and for the weeks to come you deserve every ounce of what's coming for you and what's coming to you and what I'm for you and you're like oh, what coming for me it's just life life is coming to you now and the growth and the changes are coming to you now and you may not even notice a test or whatever because you just are moving through your life in a way that is becoming a style, a lifestyle. For those of you Taurus Risings, um, your identity. But now that I'm rem remembering before we get deeper into the story, into what's to come and what's here, what's already present, all information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below as well as the information for um, the Patreon extended. I highly recommend those if you want a look into what the personal readings are like. If you're wanting to test out before you invest, I would say start with that. Please check it out if you can. Um, it is, that's where we get even more in depth into this process, into this month, into this time of your life, into the time of your life. And yeah, I think that is it. Yeah. All right. Let's get We have the Scorpio full moon tomorrow too. So this is like perfect timing. Yeah. Everything is below. A new podcast will be out this month as well. And honestly, I just want everyone, every Taurus, even if you're going through some shit right now, I hope you enjoy just being in your own shit. Why? Because no matter what, it comes out not only beautiful, but it's like the intelligence of nature, which is why I love flowers, which is why I surround myself with certain things. It's just a part of it. It's like you, the intelligence, the beauty is within your intelligence of who you are and the makeup of who you are. And that's something I'm extremely passionate about. And it's just time, a time in your life where you're putting to bed, laying to, not, not just putting to bed, but putting to bed for the long haul. You're putting to rest. There's a reason, there's got to be a reason why you're laying to rest. It's the final rest for some of these cycles. You're like, yo, they better not meet me again because I'll fucking knock it out. And then I'll look back and be like, yo, that was a test I didn't even see coming. I just swung because I just know and you feel and you sense the right pitch. For those of you who don't know baseball, divine timing. <laughs> um that's even with hand-eye coordination, right? So you may find that your hand-eye coordination is um, intensified this month, especially if you work with your hands often, or if you are, a lot of Tauruses do get into the physical way of teaching people. So a fitness, a fitness instructor, a trainer, yoga, any movement, dancer, any movement practice is going to be to your greatest advantage always but especially right now if that's not something that you do it's really important to get more in touch with your body than you have been you are a sign that is but if that's something you're resisting it's really important to move through these emotions of airy season didn't bring them out of you 
Why? Why are you trying to make me cry? I'm not trying to make you cry. It's just that when you have more emotional buildup, you can doubt yourself, even the good things. It's not like you mean to. You just are good at a lot and can handle a lot. So you say yes to a lot and you need to say yes to yourself. What does that look like? If you have a certain way of living right now or a certain routine, it's possibly looking at your routine differently, that kind of perspective, or it's about scratching it and thinking about what could be even better for you, more suitable for you. And for those of you who are, on, who are on the opposite and are spending too much time alone, maybe try something new. If not, something will perhaps be provoked at this time. Because if what you are accomplishing internally, internally and externally, maybe having the conversations or slaying some self-sabotage or insecurity within you, which means just like noticing. Because total eclipse, total eclipse is total shadow. It's this time in life where it can become so amazing or so crazy or so detrimental because you can see everything spinning. You see all sides of things at some point. Or you be become deeply aware or deeper than where you're at, deeperly <laughs> aware of what you've been hiding from, what you've been hidden to. And... That could even mean the good things. And for some reason, you needed to handle some, some other things in order to allow your body perhaps to feel safer. To shift in this way. Or you've had that intention, all of a sudden you had these opportunities of growth. And you realize, okay, if this is what I want and I'm sure about it, what happens when the first thing that comes up doubts me? Maybe you are, because like her heart's, clo she's closing off her heart on purpose, like she's doing it, right? And more than ever, we're going to get really poetic, Taurus. Um, you may appreciate this right now. Because especially you Taurus Risings who are very perhaps deep in thought are being provoked uh, externally for sure. Especially through the ego and how you handle those parts of you you when you're closed off to your heart you're closed off to your soul in a certain way just hear me out if the soul resides in the heart and that's its home your body is your home for your heart and then go on and on but let's make it sound more luxurious it's a sanctuary if that's the sanctuary you don't want to be closed off and cold to the part of you that makes you who you are that it's not only the place that provide the capacity and the ability to breathe and feel and do and experience and feel, but it's the part of you that wants to be turned off from it because you don't feel like you can experience all of these feelings all the time. And instead, maybe you ask yourself, well, if I do want to be this person, how do I get there? Show me, guide me. Maybe you start asking questions maybe you already have. And you're being guided through yourself, which is the best way you know how. And you find yourself maybe looking outward differently. You find that you run into control. I dropped some cards. Hold on. Ha 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 and here you are. I don't know which one came out first, but this is the way I naturally did them and we're just going to use them. Coming into your own identity, especially for Taurus Risings. It's like you're able to feel the capacity to be seen, your nervous system changing. You... Taurus sons have perhaps begun to master this 
quicker or depending on like the route they took or you take for those of you tourist sons you may have come into this more often and this could be something that is aligning you to your growth and to your purpose so you may be aligning with sorry you may be aligning physically ego spiritually and you're just checking in on yourself at this time you may also receive a lot of support which helps calm your mind which helps relax your throat which allows more open heart the expression of the soul is the voice which is why people love your voice <laughs> Oh, man. And I hope that you have someone who loves listening to your voice and can listen to you forever. We'll tell you when, like, it's enough, but, like, can really listen to you forever, which is what this is, is this commitment. It's like... You think you're dead serious and then you're not when it comes to the moment because you're like, well, what happens next? And then things get better, but then things need to be left behind and you got to pick up all your stuff and continue to go. And that's why it's important to pack light right now. Everyone and everything cannot come with you on the road ahead. I mean, you still get to decide, but then others decide as well right they have the decision too it just so happens that the way uranus is shaking up your life and just in and just the way the energy is flowing because we'll get more into that into the next part it's what you always knew was coming for you you're aligning in ways that are reflecting who you really are. And for any fixed sign, for a moment, it's going to rock your world a little. For some of you, it's about this deep experience that you're having with yourself, this change, this growth, this period in time where you may feel so in flow, like you can handle whatever's coming for you, even within your mind. Because it's become clear that this is the way you want to live. If not transparent, it's getting there. Maybe that's why we're doing this now. You know, it's getting down to the root and that belief. That belief saying, yeah, you have worked hard. Regardless, you have turned any anything that you've been thrown your way and now you feel more capable. You know that the fence is only put up to the ones who know and or don't question their freedom to those cows in the field. What is free range if it's not truly free? And in your sun season, you may have tears of joy and I hope that you do. <laughs> But you will see and be able to experience this light is blinding your light. You will be seen. You will see yourself and feel it 
I feel like the a lot of the intense emotions are like our body is watching us. You know, what happens when we visually or hear it, your body really feels in touch with yourself. Like that point, it was just like meant to hear it in that way. And then you get that response. You may have a creative breakthrough as well. Something, some inspiration that you've been maybe even praying for, like you felt this coming and you felt like, okay, for those of you who really want to connect to yourself more, want to create the best way to do it from what I've learned to even learn about yourself is create something for yourself. Create something that's totally you, regardless if it's for monetary purposes or to share yourself in any kind of way. You get to know yourself more because you realize how much you've learned from others and seeing others and you have such a visual, but now you're very, and this is for the Taurus, mostly for the Taurus rising, Tar Taurus risings out there is that you're connecting deeper with your identity. Like you can't control how you're going to be perceived, but you get to control what you put out there to an extent. And it's perhaps at this time that what you want to put out there, sorry, I just want to make sure I have the right one. It's something new, something fresh, and this sun season open helps heal maybe with some sun for those of you maybe going away, maybe resting your mind, maybe playing more. Um, if you have kids, maybe that. Playing with your kids more, being more engaged with the presence, um, really connecting with things that do bring you happiness and they might be different than what they were before. Or maybe what was before is now greater enhanced for some of you. And you may begin to explore and wander from there. You begin to secure, bloom. You have become very aware that if you even with the violent parts inside of you, when you respond in the way that is love and, and loving and what you're choosing love is, right? It's a far greater healing than you even could have asked for. It's just getting there, right? It's like, no one deserves this, let alone you. Right? <laughs> I mean, you know, you can have your words and you can have your moments and thoughts and whatever that they are. But this is where the control comes back. This is where you, by doing this, not just saying it, but by putting that energy into it, you build a solid foundational self-worth and relationship with money and relationship to all life around you if that's what you're looking for and that's where you're going towards now in your life like you just want to build certain relationships with the world around you realizing that's really how this thing moves and you're so connected to that and so aware that this is the currency and that you know that will shift right technology and currency but that if you don't upgrade your own technology which is yourself which you you know on such a deep understanding of it because you actually go with it. Like even though you've been so uncomfortable for a while and it's still gonna continue, it's because it's expanding you in this time because you have so much power. You have so much intelligence, you have so much beauty, you have so much knowledge, you have so much foresight because you feel it, you can sense it for miles. Think about even how we feel through things. Some people may go through emotions quickly, but when you really process and flow through it, if this present moment can feel like so long, but it's actually not. It's like a portal, it's like a vortex, it's living presently within life. So connected. Yeah. That we'll get more to in the second part. It's you 
truly owning and focusing are you choosing yourself? You choosing that by you having this time of perhaps like a little reflection, inspiration, moving through big emotions, moving through big, great change for some of you, you know, depending. That this is an internal, external moment where something clicks. Something that you have been asking for, something that you've been working towards, something clicks and you are able to harness this energy and focus it in a way where it not only lights you up, you have the control where you need it. It sounds perfect, right? Don't let it sound too good to be true because this is not, it's not. Something's exciting you, you, you have foresight, go with that foresight. If you can, in your day to day, if you have the capacity or capability of even spending an intentional 10 minutes alone, please do so. Like, look, there's little flowers even in this. It'd be good for you. See that vision. And if you can move through the mental, emotional blocks to get there, even if it takes a little while visually, being able to sit with what you feel coming, what you see expanding, dreams becoming clear, visuals becoming more colorful, life being brought into you and out of you in this way where you're seeing this connective tissue, this connective flow together and it comes out through this expression, this voice, these sounds in a certain way that comes across a certain way to some so satisfying, to some triggering because they're never going to have it or be satisfied with their own, not your problem, right? Yeah, Aries in the 12th house for some of you has been quite the director. And when you learn and apply what you learn, there's no stopping you. And not that it's a competition, but it's just oozes out of you. You know, it's like a smell, a beautiful smell you leave behind or, yeah, just, yeah, the blossoming of spring where you're just like, ah, oh, finally we can breathe different air than the winter. Um, lingering, however, it just feels good to be here, doesn't it? That whatever you've been bringing to life is now starting to. Beyond your doubt, your fear, your worries, or anyone else's, you are seeing your own path. And you understand that some of it's coming from concern, some of it's coming from jealousy. And the, un, the inability to be happy for you is just someone else's insecurity or projection. It is not yours. If good things are happening for you, do your best to be supported there. Because even the strongest, who are still such the softest, need care too. You do, you do. All right, I'm so excited to get into the next part. But maybe walk first, uh, get outside if you can. Thank you for being here. All information is below, Taurus. Are you ready? Are you ready? See you soon. <laughs>